You know, mature spirituality realizes that the greatest power of all is in God's hands. And that is a mature thing because in the beginning, we want it to be in our hands and in our mind and in our will and in our pushing to get things the way we want them to be. Matthew Henry said it this way, that we may not complain of what is. Let us see God's hand in all events, and that we may not be afraid of what shall be. Let us see all events in God's hand. The world turns according to God's plans, not our wishes. No matter how carefully we plan, our plans sometimes go amiss. So boasting about future events is best avoided, especially when we understand and we acknowledge God's sovereignty over all things. In Proverbs 27, verse 1, it says, Don't brashly announce what you're going to do tomorrow, and you don't know the first thing about tomorrow. Are you planning for a better tomorrow for yourself and your family? Well, that's natural, and even something to be praised. But God's rewards for thought, just as God rebukes impulsiveness, the key is to submit our desires and plans to God's perfect will for our lives, knowing that God knows best. So as you make your plans, do so with humility, consulting with and trusting in your heavenly God's plans. It's in God's hands. God directs the future. And your future will be better than you could ever make it on your own, pushing your own will. I know that when I first thought of positive Christianity, I wanted to do it in newspaper format by writing a column and submitting it to small local town newspapers. That was Chris's idea. Then God gave me the idea to do it on the computer, on the internet. And I didn't own a computer. I didn't know anything about the internet. I thought this is a crazy idea. Well, see, God knows better. And we struggle and we resist and we don't want to go where God wants us to go. But when we do go there, thank God that we did it God's way, and that God's hand was in it. Since this has been uh, in manifestation since 1999, small town newspapers across the country have closed, or they merged. It would have been something that would have been great effort to do with little result and the results that I look for is how much can you help people? And how much does it cost to help those people? And how can you do something for the cost that you give? Well, the internet was the way. What is your way? Well, God knows. And if you submit to God and do so with humility, even more than I did, you will find that God's plans are the best and the blessed for you and your life.